Avalanche destroys a Shinra Mako reactor in Midgar, an attack on another reactor goes wrong, and Cloud falls into the city slums. There, he meets Aerith and protects her from Shinra. Meanwhile, Shinra finds Avalanche and collapses part of the upper city, killing most of Avalanche along with the slum population below. Aerith is also captured, as a Setra, she see, and potentially reveal the promised land, which Shinra believes is overflowing with exploitable life stream energy. Cloud, Barret, and Tifa rescue Aerith. During their escape from Midgar, they discover are that Rufus' father has been murdered by Sephiroth, who was presumed dead five years earlier. The party pursues Sephiroth across the planet, with now President Rufus on their trail. The group begins to encounter Sephiroth during their journey, who continuously appears and disappears after taunting Cloud and sending Genova-esque monsters after him. Finding him at a Setra temple, Sephiroth reveals his intentions to use the black materia to summon Meteor, a spell that will hit the planet with a devastating impact. Sephiroth will absorb the life stream as it attempts to heal the wound, becoming a god-like being. The party retrieves the black materia, but Sephiroth manipulates Cloud into surrendering it. Aerith departs alone to stop Sephiroth, following him to an abandoned Setra city. During Aerith's prayer to the planet for help, Sephiroth attempts to force Cloud to kill her, feeling he kills her himself before fleeing. The party then learns that Genova is not a Setra as once thought. Rather, it is a hostile alien life form whose remains were unearthed by Shinra scientists decades earlier. At Nibelheim, Genova cells were used to create Sephiroth. At the northern crater, the party learns that they, Sephiroths, they have encountered are Genova clones created by the insane Shinra scientist Hojo. The party confront one particular Genova clone as it is killing other clones to reunite Genova's cells. After it is defeated it drops the black material, but Cloud is again manipulated into delivering it to the real Sephiroth. Sephiroth then taunts Cloud by showing another soldier in C. Cloud's place in his memories of Nibelheim, suggesting that Cloud is a failed Sephiroth clone. Sephiroth summons Meteor and seals the crater with a magical barrier. Cloud falls into the life stream, the party is captured by Rufus and several giant monsters known as weapons emerge to defend the planet from harm. Escaping Shinra, the party discovers Cloud at an island hospital in a catatonic state from Mako poisoning. Tifa stays as his caretaker. When the island is attacked by a weapon, the two fall into the life stream, where Tifa helps Cloud reconstruct his memories, a shy child during his time in Nibelheim. Cloud was blamed when a young Tifa injured herself trying to cross Mount Nibel. Resolving to become stronger, Cloud leaves for Midgar to join Soldier but was never accepted into the organization. The Soldier in his memories was his friend Zack. At Nibelheim, Cloud surprised and wounded Sephiroth after the latter's mental breakdown, but Genova preserved Sephiroth's life. Hojo experimented on Cloud and Zack for four years. Injecting them with Genova cells and Mako, they escaped but Zack did not survive. The combined trauma of these events triggered an identity crisis in Cloud, he constructed a false persona around Zack's stories and his own fantasies. Cloud accepts his past and reunites with the party, who learned that Aerith's prayer to the planet had been successful, the plan. Ed had attempted to summon Holy to prevent Meteor's impact, but is undermined by Sephiroth. Shinra fails to destroy Meteor but manages to defeat a weapon and puncture Sephiroth's barrier around the end. Odin crater with its Mako-powered superweapon, the sister Rei. Hojo attempts to commandeer the superweapon to aid Sephiroth and reveals himself to be Sephiroth's biological father before he is slain by Cloud's party. The party descends to the planet's core through the opening in the northern crater and defeats both Genova and Sephiroth. The party escapes and Holy is summoned, which destroys Meteor with the help of the life stream. 500 years later, Red 13 is seen with two cubs looking out over the ruins of Midgar, 
which are now covered in greenery, showing the planet has healed.